Special perspective tonight, lives versus livelihood. As the pandemic worsened in El Paso, the mayor and county judge sparred over the best way to control the spread of the virus. County Judge Ricardo Samaniego opted to institute a shutdown to give hospitals a fighting chance. Mayor DiMargo was outspoken against the order, saying it unfairly harmed small business owners. ABC7's Mauricio Casilla sat down with Mayor DiMargo to discuss his controversial stance. Matt Gutman, he joins us now in El Paso. And obviously As El Paso made national headlines for all the wrong reasons, Mayor DiMargo stood strong in his beliefs that a shutdown was not the right answer. Having this shutdown occur was uh, just devastating. It was draconian. The shutdown affected businesses like Carlos and Mickey's Mexican restaurant. That's where I met the mayor for our conversation. He says the owner of the restaurant reached out to his office after the shutdown to express concerns that they didn't know how much longer they'd be able to keep their doors open. When we look at the numbers, Mauricio, we've lost like 15,600 employees and small businesses this year. We have 32,000 El Pasoans who filed for unemployment through September. A business community that's struggling to stay afloat but the same can be said for hospitals. A convention center is now a makeshift hospital. Our hospitals are overwhelmed. You have the medical community coming out and saying, give us two to three weeks of a shutdown. Why is there such hesitation now to implement something like that when we did it before when the caseload was a lot lower? This thing changes on a daily basis. And so uh, uh, what we do today is not what we did in March or April. And we've learned from that, and we've learned across the board. And then you know, those who did shutdowns are having to do them again. And so if it didn't work, why do you do it? Margo believes that targeting small businesses won't do much to curb the spread. The shutdown did to me, from my standpoint, related to the business community, is it picked winners and losers. Because the big box retailers, because they're considered essential under Homeland Security guidelines under CISA, would never be shut down by us or the state. You know, it was like you shut down a Hallmark card shop, but you can go to Walgreens and buy a card. Okay? That just didn't make sense to me. Mr. Mayor, what would you tell a person who lost a family member who believes you're not doing enough to control this? I'm sorry you lost somebody. We have done everything we, we thought we needed to do to do this. We have a high level of susceptibility in this community because of our diabetes and hypertension and to a certain extent obesity and those are those are really big issues we've got big families that congregate and that's where spread occurs and uh, if there is something else we need to do we will do it margo knows that this pandemic and his response to it could determine whether he keeps his job when i asked him what sets him apart from his opponent in the mayoral race oscar leeser he had this to say this is my third crisis when we talk about immigration, which was from October 18 until about July of 2019, and what we went through there and being construed as ground zero, to the tragedy of August 3rd, which I've led through that as we start the healing process, and then before we could even finish the healing process, we have this pandemic. And as I've said, I do not believe our economy is going to reopen after this pandemic. It's going to have to be rebuilt. And if there's anything I have in the way of track record, it is attracting investment and jobs. Today, ABC7 also interviewed Margo's opponent in the mayoral runoff, Oscar Leeser. I sat down with him a few hours ago, and he got emotional when I asked him this question about losing his mother to COVID-19. Before we even started the interview, I offered my condolences. This has touched you personally. Has it changed the way that you view the pandemic? Obviously, it's very close to my heart. But um, take a second. Give me just a second, okay? Sure. We're all human, so it's true. I mean, you see we'll air his answer and the rest of this interview Friday here on ABC Seven at Ten.